Good evening and welcome to 22 News at 10. I'm Ciara Speller. The Catholic Diocese of Springfield released a report detailing decades of clergy abuse. While the information is not new, 22 News reporter Haley Crumbleholm joins us live with why the bishop is bringing the information forward now. A recent report from a Pennsylvania grand jury raised some questions for local parishioners about their own clergy members in these types of cases. Why did my father come forward to make a formal complaint if they weren't going to do anything about it? Years after abuse by clergy members, some survivors still struggle. The Springfield Diocese this week released a report detailing decades of abuse and settlements totaling nearly $15 million. Most of the information is not new, but a Pennsylvania grand jury report prompted Bishop Mitchell Rosansky to make the information available. It brought a lot of questions, a lot of people calling the diocese and speaking to their priests and asking questions. And so we thought most of this information has been put forward in the past. The bishop decided it was really best to get the information out in front of people. Of the 15 incidents of abuse reported in 2018, diocese spokesman Mark DuPont said there is only one that actually occurred that year. And it's under investigation by both the diocese and the district attorney. The failure to follow diocesan procedures and guidelines with regard to boundary violations violations and things of that nature. So that wasn't actually technically an abuse case. DuPont said the person involved in the 2018 case has been removed from ministry pending a full investigation, as is their protocol. Rebecca Koski's father, Richard, was sexually assaulted by a priest in Northampton, but she said it took the diocese too long to take action. He was eventually removed, but only after we made so much noise that they had no choice. DuPont said Koski's case has already been resolved, but Koski was allowed to address the diocese review board Wednesday. The suffering caused by the abuse lingers with victims for a lifetime. According to the diocese report, they paid $150,000 to cover therapy costs in 2018 alone. Koski's daughter said for them, it doesn't feel like a resolution. He trusted this institution when he came forward to treat him fairly, to take care of him, and to protect him from the wolves among their sheep. Watching my father's pain right now is more painful than anything I've ever been dragged through. The Diocese of Springfield keep a list of what they refer to as credibly accused clergy. We've posted a link to that list on our website, WWLP.com. Live in Springfield, Haley Crumbleholm, 22 News.